So today I'm down in Santa Ponza and I'm back filming with the Mac Master. I'm going to show him around. He's never been here before. And we're starting down here, right on the far side of Santa Ponza, to give him a bird's eye view of the resorts. Lee, you're, Hello. Ba you're back again on I the back. on the Mallorca Under the Sun YouTube channel. Right, so we've come down here to Santa Ponza because I had to show you around. I know this resort has been recommended to you by a lot of people. Yeah. Your first impressions, just looking out at, at the views behind us. It's heaven it's really really nice and these secret little coves that you're showing me as well it's like your own private little beach front isn't it here it's fantastic and the water is so clear and you can see we're just down here behind santa ponza beach which you can see in front of me and check out the views here across the resort now i'm going to take lee today down into santa ponza resort we're going to go and find something to eat but for now we're going to head up onto the road we're going to walk down into santa ponza i've got a few updates for you as well i know um many of my viewers want an update with the building works going on so we'll pass by those too but for now let's head off so we're just coming down the side of Santa Ponza here and already we've got loads of restaurants here. There's plenty of choice down here, whether you're just after some family food or you want to get an Indian or Italian. Um, Lee, I think you're going to be spoilt for choice down here. Do you know, I've already spotted the Indian restaurant, which is to my left, and I've checked out the menu already, the chicken tikka masala, which is obviously what I have every time. I think we might have to come back. I know you like spicy food, don't you? I love spicy foods. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a bit of a spice wuss. I'm, I'm a korma or a chicken tikka masala and that's it. Well, look, don't choose yet because we've got loads of restaurants coming up in this video. I'm going to highlight some as we go through Santa Ponza. Right, Lee, so we're outside the Mercadar del Mar and um, they do, they're specialists in paella, but not only that, they've got amazing views from the restaurant. I'm going to show you if you would ever eat here. Um, well, do you know what? It looks a nice restaurant, I have to say. Got lovely views, and if they've got the, what is it, blind paella that you said? Yes, a thier, it's Thiega Paella. Yeah. Which is the, all, the paella, eyes and, all the eyes. Uh, all the eyes, it's all been taken out. I'd be okay with that. Okay. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Let's have a look at the view. Let's have a look at the view, come on. Okay, Lee, so this isn't too bad. So now, the one thing I love about some of the restaurants down at the side of the beaches here in Santa Ponza is look at the views here. Looks pretty nice. If I gave you a paella here, a, a, a blind paella, would you eat it? Yeah, I would, with a nice glass of wine. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't. If the eyes and stuff taken out of it, I'm good. I don't mind like fish and seafood and stuff. So yeah, definitely. And I mean, what a view. It's fantastic, isn't it? The only thing is, I'd sit down and I wouldn't want to move for the rest of the day. I could sit here all day. And check out the beach over here in Santa Ponza today. Now you can see we still don't have sunbeds or lifeguards at a service on the beach just yet, but you can see people in the water. The sea can't be that cold, but it's looking absolutely gorgeous today. Don't forget as well, this place is really good value. Check out, they do menu del dias just for 16 euros at lunchtime as well with the views that we've just seen. So um, I'd say that would be kind of a contender for lunch today but I'm not so sure but they do have amazing value down this side of Santa Ponza check this out look ham and cheese toasty for two euros fifty nice little place too. look I don't know if you can see but they do have uh, sea views in this little cafe as well so much choice down here in Santa Ponza look I'm just gonna run run my camera along the menu board here too could this be the cheapest place for a cocktail to six euros 50 i don't think i've seen it cheaper anywhere on the island particularly this year let's have a quick look inside so just coming inside this restaurant check out the views that you're going to get from over here to outside they've even got an outside terrace super nice really really nice and also really friendly staff too Okay, so I'm just talking to Michael here, who is on holiday here in Santa Ponza. What do you think of the best full English breakfast over here? Definitely the best breakfast in here, and the cheapest. Lovely, being here every day, excellent. All the family as well, really enjoyed it. Fantastic, and the views, the views are incredible as well, aren't they? Oh, brilliant. Lovely place anyway, Santa Ponza. Best place to be, we've been coming here for 30 years. Excellent, great place to come. Brilliant, cheers, thank you, bye. Okay, Lee, so um, we've got a great choice of restaurants that we've just seen and places to eat, 
but we've got even more right down the side of the beach here in Santa Ponsa. We're going to head on to the beach, which you can see just here, um, in just a second. But I want to highlight a couple of other places over here in Santa Ponsa, which you might fancy for a spot of lunch today. Oh, tell me more. I think, what's, the, what's it? Where are we heading towards? Well, I'm going to go and see if the watering hole is open. Um, and that's quite a unique place in that they've got a swimming pool in the bar area. Oh, so wow. if you go there and get a, get a meal, you can use the swimming pool for free. Oh, I didn't bring my speedos with me. Oh. <laughs> so Lee, right off the busy high street here, it's a bit of an oasis behind the main road here in Santa Ponsa. We've got the watering hole. You can see we've got the swimming pool right behind me. This place is really good actually if you're staying in an apartment block um, or like an Airbnb and you haven't got a pool. Just come down here, get some food. It's fantastic, isn't it? Chill it's out. Like, it's got little, little bursts of like soft play for kids as well. It's, it's great for families. Okay, so I'm just taking Lee down the back of the beach over here in Santa Ponza. Look how gorgeous it is today. Now we've got slightly cooler temperatures that we had um, compared to what we had yesterday when we were over in Magaluf. We've only got highs of about 17 degrees and I'm in my jeans today. But in the sunshine it's actually quite hot and you can actually see that there are people on the beach too. Now you can't say I don't take Lee to all the best places but we're going to take a break in this video to check out a building site. Why? Because it's located near to some major hotels in Santa Ponsa and I've been asked by some viewers to go and take a look. Anyway, let's go and see how the building works are getting on just across the road at the way that Isabella. So apologies if my channel is starting to sound like construction news under the sun, but um, it's pretty important. A lot of people are paying a lot of money to come here on holiday for the summer. So we're just going to see how this site is coming along. So you can see we're just coming up towards the site entrance here. It's looking a lot more finished than it did uh, even a month ago, actually. But they've completely plastered and painted the outside of this building, which was left to do. You can see they've got the windows in and the balconies in and the rest of the hotel. I can't hear very much noise. It's not quite as noisy as it was when I last came down here. They haven't quite finished yet. You can see there's another building. It's, uh, it's fallen into the shade, but just a little bit further down. That hasn't been completed. But I'd say it's on track for getting uh, finished for this summer. Fingers crossed. You can see actually we've got the um, Santa Ponza Park right next door. Check out my previous video that I made down here in Santa Ponza. If you want to see some of the other hotels in the area and their location around these building works. But as I said, it looks like it's on track to be finished soon. And it's not only the Wayla Isabella which is coming along a tree, all these businesses right at the back of Santa Ponza Beach, we can see that businesses are now moving into them. It's all coming together now for summer 2024. Okay, so we're not going to walk along the walkway, which walks along the coastal front just down here in Santa Ponza. We're going to head up into Santa Ponza. Lee, are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish because the 15 minutes that you told me the walk to, the walk to this place has turned into an hour and 15 minutes. Just to let you know, I've got no concept of time and I can walk really long distances as well. Okay, I'm really sorry. Let's go and get something to eat. <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm just showing Lee the highlights of Santa Ponza. 
And this is we're coming into the resort centre here, to the majority of the bars. We're going to have a quick look around the corner here. Nightlife down here is really good actually. Go and check out my video which I made last September. Just looking at some of the pubs over here and, and what the nightlife is like in the centre. And I shall pin that right at the end of this video or I'll drop a link to that video in the description text below this one. So just coming up past Sansi Bar. I don't think it's open yet actually we haven't got anyone sitting outside but of course Daniel's corner is open got a few people out at lunchtime least busy filming this area too but this becomes a hive of activity in the summer as you well know lots of visitors over here already which is really good to see and I've got to say as you know Santa Ponza is really really popular with our Irish visitors and I've been stopped today by quite a few Germans so hello to you first of all if you stop me today in Santa Ponza but the resort's really opening up now to different nationalities which is really good to see and it just shows that well everyone's welcome to every single resort here on the island too. So I've just given Lee a quick whirlwind tour of some of the bars over here in Santa Ponza. It's outside Brennan's, just walked down towards the Dubliner as well. You have to check out his video as well, see what his take on Santa Ponza is. I'll drop a link in the description text below this video and I'll pop a link in comments too. But make sure you also subscribe to his channel as well. I'm, I'm really hungry now Lee, we've got to go and find some food. Indian food. I we're going we're... Indian in Santa yeah, Ponza. Because I don't... I can't, I can't take a lady for a pie and a pint, can I? Well, I can go for a pie and a pint and I'll leave you an Indian. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I can't do it. It's like, where did, where, did you, where, where did you take Alex for a pint and a pint? It's That's just, all right. Yeah, or Indian food. And I know you like Indian I food. I love my Indian food. Right. I could, I could eat either, to be honest. Indian food it is. Okay, let's go. Okay, so in this video we've been looking at some of the places to eat over here in Santa Ponza. We've been trying to find somewhere for Lee to eat. Um, he wants to go across the road to an Indian. Now, I've eaten quite frequently at the Bombay just across the road. We're going to go and check it out. I'll be back in Santa Ponza soon to go and try a pie and a pint with someone else. <laughs> we could come back. Oh, we could come back as well. We can, yeah. we can go and try it. But let's go and have an Indian. Let's go and see what the food is like today. Or, or yeah. could have both. <laughs> and then we won't eat for the rest of the week. <laughs> Quite, yeah. Anyway, come on, let's go into the restaurant. So we're in quite a nice little spot here um, in the heart of Santa Ponza. We're surrounded by shops. We've got McTavish's across the road as well. I've got Lee here trying to figure out the menu. And he's doing a bit of filming. But like I've said, I. I love this restaurant. I've eaten here several times before. They do a really, really nice Indian. And of course, they have got a menu del dear. I'm not sure if Lee fancies that today, but um, it's for two people for 34 euros. Well, I'll call it 35. Got a choice of a starter and a um, choice of curry as well. But let's see what's on the menu. Let's see what we fancy today. Okay, so I can't believe it. Look, we're, um, we're checking out the menu over here in the Bombay Indian in Santa Ponza. And I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to have a chicken dan sack today. You can see the prices here are actually quite good. Okay, so we've gone for the Indian today. Lee, what have you ordered? I have ordered. I've gone sort of like, because I've got the palate of a six-year-old boy apparently, um, I've gone for a chicken tikka masala. However, I have spiced it up just a little bit, added a little spice to it. Well. I've got the chicken dan sack. That's kind of my dish of the moment. So I really enjoy it. So let's see. I've asked, asked for mine spicy as well. So let's go and see, see what it's like today. I can't believe we're having Indian in the middle of the day. But anyway. Uh, well, it could have been, we were going to have a pie and a pint. But I think that's more appropriate for the middle of the day. But then you mentioned Indian. And I saw all the Indians. So I thought, got to be, got to be Indian food, hasn't it? Yeah. We'll be back for the pie and the pint another day, definitely. And check this out. Look, we've been given some poppadoms on the house as well. My favourite. Uh, bread filled with potatoes, 
and it's all usually like eaten with uh, some uh, butter. Oh, delicious! This looks amazing. Look, we've got a little roti here, fresh off the off the flames. A little bit of butter. So um, we are being spoilt today. Actually, we didn't we didn't also the the proper doms. All the roti here, but um, this looks very nice. Thanks very much. Well, Thank good. you. Okay, so this is filled with potatoes, he says, and it's absolutely delicious. Excellent, very tasty, and uh, it's it's quite filling actually, isn't it? It's, mm. it? But it's really nice. I've actually eaten all of the butter on it there as well, <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's not too fattening because I've got to look after this figure of mine. Well, check this out. This is my Dan sack. This is my pilau rice. Thank you. I see a chicken tikka masala there for Lee, and he's also got a rice too. But look at that, that, that looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is the annoying thing about making videos um, in restaurants. The food's been served quite a few minutes ago and Lee's still filming it. <laughs> it's like, I'm starving. And he's like, no, no, I'm just taking a few more pictures. So um, yeah, if you think all this uh, vlogging business is just about sitting around eating food, you don't actually get to eat the food for a very long time. And it's very, very annoying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I have to say a chicken dantac was a great idea to have for lunch. It's just about the right amount of spice. It's not too hot and it's not too mild either. Lee, what do you reckon? I think it was a good call. Much better than a pint of pint. <laughs> and what better? Come all the way to a Spanish island for a curry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm totally made up here. Look, we've got proper Indian pickles, lime, uh, lemons and chilies. Look at these. And I'm going to have a couple of these on my plate. Absolutely Goodbye. delicious. Lee, do you want no, some? No, no I, I think that's, a, <laughs> that's a bit too spicy for him, but oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Okay, and I've just been corrected. They weren't lemons, pickled lemons. They're Indian gooseberries and they also help with digestion, which is super good when you're when you're over here eating a huge meal like this for lunch. Now, I just have to say as well, look, I've only got a bit of um, curry left, but it's still staying warm. It's got its own individual little heater as well, which is really good. Okay, so that was a really nice meal. We're gonna head off now. I'm, I think I'm gonna take Lee down the steps. A little bit further on in Santa Ponza, we're gonna walk up back round to the resort along the waterfront. Now you've seen it before on the live streams, you've seen it in my other videos, but we're going to take a walk now back to the beach along the water. Now see, I could have taken Lee down here, look we've got uh, another paella restaurant, we've got the Preservantia Beach Club, they haven't put the swimming pool water in the pool yet, but they have got the restaurants open down here, it's very nice, might be a bit too Spanish though for Lee I think today. I mean, Lee, what do, you, what do you think of this menu here? I mean, look, you can, you can see the paella on the menu. It could probably see me as well. <laughs> <laughs> and just like down in Magaluf yesterday, check out how clear the water is over here in Santa Ponza. Got a little bit of clouds billowing up just in the distance. Shouldn't be too much to worry about. Let's head on down towards the beach. Okay Lee, so we've come down onto the jetty where you can pick up the Cormoran cruise if you're going to take a cruise around the coast. Tell me your honest opinion of Santa Ponza, would you come back here? A hundred percent. Out of both places that I've been to so far, Magaluf, uh, which by the way I was completely shocked with because uh, I thought it was going to be Club 1830 kind of scene and that's the, uh, as soon as I said to people oh, I'm going to Magaluf, people were like oh blimey, thinking it's like a, a complete party scene like it was back then. It isn't, it's a gorgeous place, even uh, good for families as well, but I have to say this has been my favourite place so far, it really is nice. 
Well, that's fantastic to hear. And Nossi hasn't tried the nightlife here either, so that's a whole different side to Santa Ponza too. But I have to say, Lee has also been filming down here in Santa Ponza, so if you want to check out his video and his impression of the resort, follow his channel. I'll drop a link to his video in the description text below this video and also in a comment too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to both of our channels actually. Lee, we're going on, we're continuing our ventures around Mallorca and um, we've got plenty of other places to see. Lots more food to eat as well. <laughs> Lots more food to eat. Okay everyone, thanks very much for watching. We shall see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>